the world's a stage. All the world. Ah, yes, here's it. All the world's a stage. Each man in his time plays many parts. Yeah. Except for those who are doomed to repeat themselves. Have a gun, don't you? Well, come on in. Don't just stand there. You have a choice. I'm offering you a choice. All the world's a stage, but we don't have to follow the script. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have had a tough time coming to a decision with the new Miss India, so I hope you're all looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, the big moment is finally here. Our new Miss India, the ravishing Ravina! I'd like to thank my mother and father for, for giving me such a fantastic childhood. Mom and Dad, I'm here only because of you. And I'd like to thank the judges for believing in me. Thank you so much for making this happen. Thank you so much.
Ravina, how do you feel after winning the contest? Oh, fantastic. Ravina, what do you think your chances are of winning the Miss World in Brazil? Uh, I don't know, but you know, I'm going to uh, impress the judges because you know, they're going to be... Ravina, you're not answering the question. Let's see if Miss India will play ball. Okay. Miss Ravina, Mr. Percy offers his congratulations. Thank you. He would like to make you an offer before you speak to anyone or sign anything. I haven't talked to my manager. She handles all my professional matters. That's no good. Mr. Percy doesn't talk to managers. Wait! I think it could be a perfect experiment. What is better than this in you? Oh, absolutely. Huh? I think so. Would you like me to sit in? No, no, this? no. I, I think, um... I think, Theo, I'll take it from here. Okay. Thank you very much. Good morning, Sir Ravina. It's such an honor to meet you. And the same from me. Please, do sit down. Thank you. Ah. <clears throat> well, um, to the point then. I don't know whether you know this, but um, I happen to own this company that makes games. Icon, it's it's kind of gone, isn't it? <laughs> Good Lord, I hope not. No, no, it's it's just a wretched company that makes money. I mean, I depend on it, and it depends on me for new ideas. And I think I have one. Supposing I made you an offer. Listening. <laughs> Good. A game. A game of choices. You see, we put real people in what could be their own stories. Reality entertainment with a cutting edge. You want a beauty queen? Why not ask the real Miss India instead of some two-bit actress? How real? And how far does it go? Oh, it, it's endless. You see, the player enters a story which we've set up. Then he or she gets to choose one or other of the characters. So all the characters can stop the game and make a choice and determine the direction in which the story takes. Very good, very good. A little demonstration. Congratulations, Ravina. I'm Ricardo from the Reef Gauche mm -hmm. Collection. Excuse me for barging in, but I need a word in private. I'm in a bit of a rush. Why don't you speak to my agent? No, you see, we rate your chances very highly. <laughs> That's very kind of you, but I sincerely think you should talk to my agent. If you wish, contact me at this number. A memorandum stating terms of the contract. A million on signature. But how did you? That never happened. But that is you, isn't it? Yeah, but nobody made me that offer. No, but they will, my dear. They will. Oh, they will. Ravina, is it a big offer? I'm trying to find out which is going to be made an offer. Can you tell me? My agent will talk to you formally. That's enough for now, thank you. That's enough now, thank you. I think I'll drive you home myself. Do you drive normally? I do when I'm in England. But you're not English, are you? No. And you still work for Mr. Percy? I play the game, so to speak. Ah. Combine work and play. The reason he's a millionaire is because he doesn't see the difference. The work is play. I'm so sorry I'm late. Well, I suppose I don't mind being kept waiting by Miss India. Please sit down. Well, Ravi, um, I, I don't want to hurry you or anything, but have you made a decision yet? Um. Ravi, we need you to make a choice. Otherwise, the game can't make its next turn. Let me show you. I really have no comments at this stage. Thank you very much. Is it true Ravinia is going to London? 
I'm sorry, I really have no comment to make. Ravina going to sign the contract. Mr. Percy, is it true that Ravina has been offered a $6 million dollar contract as Icon? No comment at this stage. Thank you very much. The game is a mirror of life. Mirror, mirror on the wall, if the truth be known, the game is all. The game is on. <laughs> Let's play. काम के लिए बैठ जा चल ले और निकल तेरा पासपोर्ट चल धन्यवाद सर चल चल ला चल चला तू आ क्या नाम है तेरा मुरली इसका फोटो उधर Where is the passport? You cannot leave the house without permission. Tomorrow morning, everyone on the van. I am hungry. Wait till tomorrow. Sleep tightly now. Forget about hungry. Ravi is en route to the hotel, Chief. She says she'd like to drive out to you rather than giving you the trouble of... Sure. Hi. Yeah, great, thanks. Oh, I'd be delighted to see something of London. <laughs> Just sensitive to the jet lag. Great, so I'll see you at dinner time. Super. Thank you. 
Yeah. Isn't that they're lovely. <laughs> they are really lovely. Oh, we don't like There's the pool. You really ought to try the pool at some point. It's so refreshing. It's beautiful here. Would you like to see the rest of it? I would love it. All right. It's impressive. And peaceful. Peaceful, well, yes, perhaps. Quiet, very quiet. And empty. I'm the only one here. I tend to rattle around in this place like a piece of glass in a kaleidoscope. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Ah, it suits me, though. You know what they say about dogs and their owners? I think the same could be said of great country houses. Would you like to look around more? Enjoying it? It's fantastic. Good. See, I'm particularly proud of our eco-friendly swing. It's built like a like a pond. No chemicals. Look, see? Just a couple of frogs. Gosh. It's beautiful. I feel like jumping in. Really? Well, be my guest. Take a dip. <laughs> no. I don't have any swimming. Oh. Sure. Moses can find you something. I'm sure we can find something. Sir. Please, honestly, if you want to swim, there it is. It's very inviting. It's a beautiful night. I'll be up at the house. I was just looking for a poem for you. There are cameras. There are snooping cameras everywhere. What are you talking about? You mean, you mean by the pond? Oh, don't worry. They're not working. They're not even wired. They're decoy. What's the matter? Nothing. It's the bloody cameras, right? Well, I'll have them taken out tomorrow. Look, I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. How am I looking? There are no mirrors anywhere. No. There are no mirrors in the house. I don't understand. Well, how can I put I just don't want to see the advancing line. <laughs> I know, it sounds very vain, doesn't it? But, I mean, I allow other people to tell me how I look, but they usually are more complimentary than the mirror. I mean, they have to flatter me. Have to? Yes, pretty much all the people I know work for me. So, you know, they sometimes tell me the truth, sometimes not. I'm never quite sure. I work for you, and I'll tell you the truth. This could be quite a game. All right. Three adjectives. How I look, brains, emotions. 
Okay. Very manipulative. Um, very, very sharp. And I think very kind. Manipulative? I'm, I'm not manipulative. Am I? <laughs> but sharp, kind. Well, we'll see. Okay, now your turn. Three adjectives to describe me. No brainer. Ravishingly beautiful. Wonderfully understanding. Far too young. Let me find that mine. Youth will come and beat at my door. Force its way in. That's cool. A bitter young playwright called Ibsen. Did you love your first wife? There wasn't a second. You haven't answered the question. I think I did. She couldn't stand it. I've never seen such things. I'm vegetarian. I didn't come here for cleaning up blood. I'm an educated man. I have a university diploma from Bangalore. Look, Harlemon. What's your real name? Mundi. You're stuck here, man. You've got no papers. You think those guys are going to let you work in computers or some office? You break their contracts and they'll break your legs. I can't do this. I'm a qualified man. I'm afraid I have no way of judging these so-called qualifications. I mean, they may be perfectly valid, but they're not on the list of our recognised diplomas. I can offer you casual labour. Casual 
What is casual? Have you ever thought of training to be a coiffeur? Coiffeur? What is coiffeur? Hairdresser. You didn't report for work today. I went for interviews. We didn't bring you here to do interviews. I will pay you 10% of salary. You have no room here tonight. Your bag is here. You best leave and don't go to the police. Very unhealthy. Rakesh, fuck off, yeah? Not me, young Mustak. Boss doesn't tolerate any disobedience. This is my friend and he's staying with me. Come on. Well, sit down. I've got some things for you. Graduation certificate from the University of London in Computer Engineering. Diploma in Electronics, Metropolitan University of Loughborough. Loughborough? It's a town up north. But my name is not Marley Patel. Well, I couldn't find you to ask you, could I? But it's fine. The whites think everybody's called Patel. Uh, make them look used. Manji, this is great. How can I thank you, man? And this? References from Microsoft who worked for four years in the United States. You might need it. Look, if you're going for interviews, you can't go like that. Beer, beer. Give me beer, beer. Niente più ti lega a questi luoghi, neanche questi fiori azzurri. Via, via, neanche questo tempo grigio, pieno di musica e di uomini che ti sono piaciuti. It's wonderful, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. Good luck, my baby, it's wonderful, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I'd remove you, chips, chips. Dati do di do chi bo chi bo bo Dati do di do chi bo chi bo bo Dati do di do Wait here Billy What's that Mr. Uh my friend needs a suit yeah Look, I have to go. Sort some out for us, will you? Like this. Round. And round. And through. And through. Like that. Don't forget it. <laughs> Just hold the knot. Tighten the noose. <laughs> <laughs> Our aim is to devise a completely new form of interactivity. Console interactivity, we already have. Rivals are already making this. What can be new is, is an algebra for elements, mm -hmm. what you are referring to as story breakdowns. Then computers can invent new characters, situations. And... Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. You're not interrupting, Ravi. It's nice to see you. Please sit down. Um, Mr. Sorry, what's your name? Murli. Mr. Murli was just explaining how he didn't really agree with our game. He was about to tell us more of his ideas, so please do continue, Mr. Molly. What the game needs from your specification is a technique for mapping any figure onto the entire motion command program. For example, you can't put a crocodile in place of a monkey, but you can put a man where an ape was, or, or a woman, or a new USA president for an old USA president, which is monkey for monkey. 
So it's between the two of them, best of British boffins, Nigel Gilbert, and our Dr. Patel, IT whiz kid from India. Well, Gilbert has administrative nous, good for product security, solid references, great presentational style, and a long record of innovative work. Good Hindu boy, no smoking, no drinking, no clubbing, no girlfriends, and saves his money for his mum in Bangalore. He's my man. is a bit down, but I can't give you a discount. It's a I chat. do like him, though. Hang on a minute. Um, can you hold, please? So, good news? That's great. Oh, they're lovely. What shall I call you? My name? Yes, darling, what is it? Oh, Murli. I can't thank you enough many times. <laughs> Once is fine. Excuse me, madam. Look, I'm closing in five minutes. I told my friends how much you helped me. I sold you a wretched, clapped-out suit. No, no, you taught me. You are the first woman to touch me. To touch her? The tie. Oh, the tie. And Mushtaq said that I could ask you to come for a drink, so I am pleasing you. Look, you are pleasing me, Merle, but I can't go. I'd love to have a drink with you, but I've got a rush. OK, OK, sorry. Look, let's get a bottle and take it back. Come back to my place. Only I've got a rush because I've got a little daughter and I've got a pick her up. Your husband. Your husband. Okay. Where's it going? Merle is my magic. Right, last one. Where is it going? Hello? <gasps> Bedtime, darling. Mm. Will you come again? If your mother says OK. Pick up your slippers, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to do night, it again. Night, Molly. Night, night. Night, cha. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Mally, you... The Matrix must prescribe the combination of actions. My professor in India used to say, it's not like writing poetry. You fellows can never write poetry, but you can write the grammar of writing poetry. Same with stories. We have to create the grammar of then what happened, look at all the possibilities, and construct the Matrix. What do you think? We've cracked up? Cracked it, you mean? Yes, I think we have. Excuse me. We'll finish this later. Mr. Murley? Yeah? Would you like to meet me this evening? We want to make you a very attractive offer. Who is this? You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Try me. Does Game Call mean anything to you? Game Call, come on, who is this? An important person from Game Call. It could mean more to you than you think. Game Call, hey, has someone thrown a virus into the messenger system? I'm not a virus, Mr. Patel. Meet me at the pub. Sure, which pub? Where you meet Billy. Bye now. Hmm. No, I 
Yes, Theo? I told you it will, Theo. Nearly done conforming. Sure, I'll be there. No, of course not. Between us, huh? Yeah. I have to rush. I'll speak to you shortly. I'm sorry. I've been working all the time to finish the program, staying all night, sleeping in the office. Yeah, well, didn't know if I should call you or whether I scared you off. No, no, you must call. Look, I didn't forget her birthday. Box of first magic tricks. <laughs> She'll love it. Hey, listen, you should give it to her yourself this evening. I have to be excused. I have the launch, which is secret. Secret? Oh, well. Come here, then. And I know all that stuff about you being at work was true. I know. I just wasn't sure if I'd said the right thing. No, no. You say beautiful things. It's me. I don't know how to talk to... To a woman? No. Yes. Ever been kissed by one? Of course not. Another secret. That's how I feel about you today, Mr. Murley. Now get off. You're excused. I oh, mean, you know, come back to my flat any time. Late. Can't sleep in that hole anymore. And bring your clothes for washing. Yeah! <laughs> Done. Mr. Percy there, please. Murli? Oh, Theo, please come through. Okay. Lionel, will you reconfigure this, please? Yes, of course. Okay, so who shall we have? Yesterday, the team scanned all those university wallers. Hmm. Strong, unusual characters. Hot market. Professor of Psychiatry deals with delusional students. I like it. We have fed in a certain amount of data. Fifteen of his patients. Put it on the screen. Got to see this, Chief. Good stuff here. Good. Right, you said something about a breakthrough? Sir, we've programmed for random. So we don't have to feed a story plot initially. All the patients have their stories, each of them. Kids with delusions. Some of them seriously fucked up. Dangerous? Could be. Oh. What happens next? I am Charlie Knowles, professor of psychiatry here at the university, investigating deviant delusions. A real professor. Sure. But you know at the same time that you're not an angel. I know I am both. So what's the difference between the real Tara and the angel Tara? They're both real. One is earthly, one is in the air. The angel Tara has convinced the other that the body is an illusion. Completely convinced or half convinced? Quite right, very clever. Only half convinced. Because? 
because the earthly Tara knows that the body is capable of extreme pleasure and pain. Your body too, Professor. Charlie. Your body too, Professor. Charlie. Charlie. I am Tara. I'm studying the mind, all minds. I am both Charlie's victim and his greatest challenge. I am Angel. Oh, this is wonderful. Huh? You know, you've really done a brilliant job here. This character, sir. She just appeared today randomly. She's not been programmed. Character, meaning she's not a programmed subject whose image and speech and thought pattern have been fed into the program. Mm. Do you mean that you don't know where she came from? The, the program just manufactured her like a sort of <laughs> Frankenstein monster. There's nothing monstrous about her. I think she's beautiful. She's taking over the story. The choices she's giving him are very complicated for his life. Hmm. She clearly makes him do whatever she wants. Don't you think she could have been fed in by one of your people as a hoax? Impossible. Only I know the courts. Murphy, are you telling me that we don't control the ending? I don't know. Maybe all our endings should be left to chance. Aren't they always? Hello, Vivek. Yes, tell What? Oh, my God. Is she okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First thing, yeah. Listen, you take care, okay? Bye. It's my mother. She's fallen off the stairs and she's unconscious. Sorry. You must take the first flight home and I'll arrange it. Percy's going along with her to give her moral support. Good. Yep, no complaints. We're in charge. Yes, Tina. Two flights to Bombay. Yes. Evening flights. Yep. Where is she? Not good. Not good. <laughs> Mom, it's Ravina. <laughs> I love you. How long has she been like this? She's been like this ever since she's had the fall. She sleeps and wakes up. She doesn't really respond to anything. Can't we do anything? The doctors say there's nothing we can do. But wait.
Fossey. I can't bear to see her like this. Oh, the future is bright. How do you do? She'll bring fortune to the house. She enters. <laughs> Hope to the hearts which welcome her. <laughs> Beauty to the eyes of the world. Oh, well, I think he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> and your mother who is ill will be well again. It is fated that your burden of your parents will never affect your life. God bless you. I hope your powers are rewarded. He's certainly done his homework. <laughs> Show me your hand, butcher. Your lines. Oh, no. I... Come on, Percy. I, I... For my sake. Oh, no. You suffered a lot. And you have hidden it. You're very lonely, gentlemen. And you'll find your loving ones now. <laughs> well, I hope you're right. Thank you so much. Um, can I make a little donation? No, it's not. It's fine. Thank you, sir. And all the best to you. Thank you. <laughs> your sister tells me that you're gay. Is this true? I never said that. Percy, where does that come from? <laughs> why, why would you say something like that? He's, he's kidding, he jokes around all the time. Just the way you're holding your fork. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, your mother seems to be feeling much better. Please. Mom. My tongue is tied, afraid my heart lied When it spoke of love and said that love is not a prize A beast with a gorgon's head and deathly lizard's eyes Can hope to win That kindness is the truth My eyes tell lies And yet, and yet Oh girl may forget And fall into dreaming Where the real is the seeming And love is 
is a spell unto which she must fall. Seeming is all. Seeming is all. Oh! You okay? What happened? She's fainted. What? Darling, you all right? Moses! Yes, call a doctor. Let me have a look. I don't think there's going to be a problem. What? There we are. Well, let's get her to the house. Come on. Come okay, on. Theo, yeah. grab hold of her. I've got her. All right. I feel a bit woozy the first couple of days. After that, we'll be fine. Just keep eating. Ah, just in time for tea. <laughs> so, are we finished here, doctor? Well, well, well. Congratulations. I'm sure Mrs. McCauley would like to break the good news. What, what do you mean, good news? What good... No. Oh. Moses, would you see the doctor out? Thank My you. pleasure. Uh, madam, please. This way. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. I don't know how you'd react. Like I wouldn't be the happiest man in the world? I mean, what is it with you, Ravi? What is it? I mean, you don't want to be stuck with me, is that it? I think that could count as the strangest proposal a girl has ever had. <laughs> All right, well, I can rephrase the question any way you want. But the answer is always going to be the same, isn't it? There is no answer, Percy. This is all so sudden. I need to think about it. Yeah, okay. You take as much time as you need. Ten minutes, all right? <laughs> I love you. I adore you and I respect you, but... this is a choice for life. I need some time. Please. Take all the time you need. Of course, I would have preferred it if you'd just fallen into my arms and said yes. But it's all right, it's all right. I understand. You have your youth to bargain with. Oh, I'm sure there'll be other men. I mean, what was this? Was this, was it a job and a fling? If you're young and beautiful, you have everything to live for. Ravi, you have to make a choice. But you have to be straight with me. Is it the beast? Or are you prepared to lose our child? You silly man. For me, the only choice is whether to be in a sari or a dress. And for you, it's whether to take a risk at all. I love you. Welcome, nice lunch in here, today. <laughs> uh, hello, mate. What are you having? Uh, white wine spritzer. Same. Thanks, fella. But he was an idiot, though, wasn't he? 
You will always play hide and seek. I Why are you are always going around the housing? No, I'll get you men until I'm ready. Thank you. So, where is her father? Away. You went away? No, put away. So you divorced? We never got married, Merle, do you understand? He was a... he weren't a nice guy. He used to deal in drugs, he had other women, involved with the police, beat me. Beat you? My fault, I can't pretend it weren't. That's what I was like then. Then Davina came along like a mistake. But she changed everything. I didn't want to live like that anymore. I don't want to know all this coming and going and police and courts and probation and shit. I want her to succeed, like you. Me? Yeah, look at you. Education. Studies first. Yes. I want her to be like you. When you're around. Madhavanama, Narayanama, Sarva Mangalya Mangalya, Shiva Sarvati Sadike, Sarande Trama Kipavari, Narayana Sri Sarayana, Om Sri Bhondanama, Om Swaha Swaha Swaha, Vakratundam Hakaya Surya Bodhi Samadam, Sarva Mangalya Mangalya, Shiva Sarvati Sadike, Sarande Trama Kipavari, Narayana Sri Sarayana, Om Sri Bhondanama, Om Sri Bhondanama, Om Sri Bhondanama, watching myself perform. Theo? Theo! I don't understand how it happened. It can't have happened. It's impossible. Look, only I. Someone has accessed my disk, taken the data off, or... Go on. Or what? Nothing. Or wiped it. Or copied and wiped it. I have copies! I can get it back, but someone has stolen the master. Look, I thought Mr. Percy would be here. Can I speak to him first, please? Oh, yes, so you can tell him who you sold it to. Sold? What are you talking about? I can get it back from the hard disk. Hard disk? Take him. You are taking me. You stay here. 
until Mr. Percy hears what he wants to hear. I don't know what he wants to hear. Where's Theo? Just inspecting the facilities. I'm also going to stay here with you, I'm afraid. Who did you sell the program to? I never sold. We know the goons from Game Corp called you. How much money? How much did they give you? I tell you nothing. I'm innocent of all this. You won't understand this, but I'm a Christian. Look, look. See this? You're a Hindu, yeah? Yes. What's the symbol of your religion? Oh. The word. My religion has this. The rack of punishment. The instrument of torture. If Christ lived and died today in America, say, this cross would be an electric chair. I know a soul. Please believe me. I've been trying to persuade Percy to write the game of Christ. I will play Pontius Pilate. What a choice. Crucify Christ and save humanity forever from sin. Let him off. Do a favor. And you don't have a Christ. No resurrection, nothing, damnation. The innocent must be crucified. For our sake. It's a game, Merle. A game. You invented it. Now, do tell us. Mr. Percy will feed my balls to his Rottweilers if I don't get the truth. No? Do what you like with him. I wash my hands of the deed. Mr. Merley Patel. I don't seem to have anybody by that name. Which department? He works for, um, works in computers. Well, madam, we have no one by that name. Miss Williamson. I'm looking for Mr. Patel. Who? Mr. Merley Patel. And if Mr. Merley Patel is not here, then I'm looking for Mr. Percy. I think you better come with no, me. No, I would like you to tell me where he is and then I will go I have no myself. idea. Excuse me, but you will tell me where he is or I will... Come with me. Oh, come. Oh, we are all here. Looking for Mr Patel? Is it you can just go? I'm looking for Mr. Patel. Who? You know, I'm simply not looking for Mr. Patel. Who? Mr. Mum, I want it last. You know, I'm simply not last. You know, I'm looking for Mr. Percy. Still off. Yeah, she is off, but we do have some cold chucks.
Welcome to Mumbai, Mr. Percy. City of borrowed dreams. I know the script. You don't know what happens. You don't. Ah. But we can improvise. Welcome to Mumbai, Mr. Percy. The city of dashed hopes. You will, of course, take what you want and go. Why did you go? I'm here just to judge your beauty. Uh, judge of beauty? I'm a good judge. Will there be anything else? Do you want any more coffee, then? Mm. Have a great. Some coffee and um, bring the brandy. Yes, sir. Of course, they're after the same thing. But which thing? Your love or your money? And you must choose one to leave with. One of them will make love to you for your love or your money. Even I don't know which. The other will kill you. Or maybe only kill you and liberate the beast within. Choice, Mr. Percy. Can I have another drink, Martin? Sorry. We're close for now. One or the other. It's a business, you know. We haven't got all night. Oh my god. Which one does he choose? Is your mum here? Mum. And who else? No one. Mum! Does a man live here with your mother? A dark fella? Oi! Get off! Come here, darling. Come here. What do you mean you're doing? You can't question a child. Who the fuck are you? Home office. Immigration department. We believe a man who goes by the name of Hormone Singh lives here. What's it to you? We've got a small, let's call it an invite here for him. Invite? Yeah, to leave the country. Don't he? He's gone. He 
you sure? Gone where? I don't know. Sorry. Billy! Hold up. Yours. You've paid for my innocence. But uh, I thought I made a choice. There was no choice. What did you want, old man, huh? The young girl's innocence? <laughs> Darling, I... I didn't hear you come in. I'm sorry. To do what? Uh, you seem to be in such a... Far away experience. What is this? Why did you make this? This? Do you rem remember when Merle said about things springing out of the infinite darkness of combinations? What about my innocence? <laughs> Ignorance. You're saying this is all a game? Yes. My love can either consume you or kill you. Kiss me. No. Kiss me if you dare. What do you think she'll do? Kiss him. I bet you. You know the ending? No. No, I don't. In for the kill. came straight out. I couldn't stop in time. Come in, come in, come in. The doctor's on his way, Dad. Nothing the doctor can do. I'm sorry, Lucy. Oh no, it's all right. Oh no, 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 no. It's all right. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm good. No, it's good to hear your voice again. Yes. How's Suzanne? She's very well. Good, good. Got my message? Yes, I, I, I got your message. Thank you, yeah. Well, I, you know, a movie is so temporary, isn't it, Tom? It's here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> yes, my game is much more permanent. It's here for eternity. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking... More like three movie deal, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, why don't you think about it and call me when you're ready? All right. Yeah.
Oi. Yeah. Let's come over here. Stay where you are, all right? Get in there. Like it? Marachu! Don't talk about my mother like that. Billy? Billy? Some men came for you. Men? Immigration officers. Why didn't you tell me you were illegal? Oh, could I? No, I don't suppose you could, could you? Wouldn't look very good, would it? I was shamed, Billy. It is shaming. Making up to a girl to get a passport. Making up? Big effort, was it? You could have told me I can take it. I've what taken more. What are you saying to me, Billy? Merle, if that is your real name, why did you do this to us, to Davina? Oh, nothing like that. I love Davina. Ever since... Davina. Go to bed, darling. Go on, sweetheart. I just really want to say goodnight. Okay, well, say goodnight then. I'm telling the truth. It was never in my mind, Billy. Maybe. But you walk into our lives. Into her life. Bringing us presents and... feeding the ducks. For God's sake, what were you thinking? Now what's going to happen to us? To her? You're running now, aren't you? Yes. I thought I'd run to you. What are you going to do? I will go. You must say that you don't know me. I will go now. Sorry. Merle! Merle! Tara. So you are not a creation. You ask mad questions. I am Tara. You know what Tara means in Hindi. Star. It means star. And you know the rhyme. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. I made this program which created... You want to tell me you created me? Men like to say that. No, this is not like that. How did you get into... You are from the game. Tara, you are Tara. I was offered the choice. I'm the girl with delusions who thinks she's an angel. So let me do something angelic for you. Go and tell Billy. Tell her? What? Tell her what's eating your heart. Tell her why you can't run away. Not now. Go on. Trust me.
Icon International, how can I help you? Can I speak to Mr. Percy? Hold please, I'll transfer you. Mr. Murley. I want to speak to Mr. Percy. Listen, Murley. You don't think Theo is threatening you on his own accord, do you? You listen. You tell him. If he keeps Theo away from me, I will tell him how to activate a virus I've buried in the program I've written. I could tell him that. You might have a deal. Mr. Percy. He'll see you. He's interested in the weakness in the programme. He'll be with you in a second. Good luck. Theo will stay off your back, but you have some explaining to do. He's a bastard. Dirty fucking bastard. Uh, Merle. I want to tell you... Tell me what? ...that what you have done is like you have poisoned me. What are you talking about? You came into our lives when you had no business to be so, to be so damn nice. And but I... you, you went to Percy. Why did you go to Percy? What did he ask you for? To Percy, yes. I went there to beg him to let you go, to put all this right. You begged? For you. I was prepared to do anything. Anything? I... You would do anything? That is shameless. Merle, why? Look, I don't know what's shameless and what's not. I just knew that I was willing to do anything to help you out. So that I could have you. You would do anything. And I have lost everything. Come on, Pat. Gotta come up. Can't sleep here, but that's it. Up you get. Come on, we gotta find somewhere else for you. Come 
on, move it! Jello, Jello! Come on, move it! In! Where have you been, mate? What have you done? They've robbed me of my job, of my, my friend, nothing! I was working honourably. Look, is there a job in Sora House? I will clean and do anything. Please, Merle, try and understand your position, OK? Now, I don't have to say this, yeah? But don't show your face around there. All these blokes have got problems with the police and they don't want you bringing them down here or attracting attention to the house. Now, I'm warning you. There's been talk. They'll kill you. Full name. Harmon Singh. Yeah. <sighs> Mr. Murley, this is your friend from Game Call. Things have changed. Time's moved on since we last spoke. Who is this? Please. Who is it? I want to help you. We've got a solution to your temporary troubles, Mr. Murley. Yes, I'm here. Then meet me at the pub. Check your email. You made it, Murley. So glad you could come. You... You've been working for Game Corp. Not as a PA being pushed around. But, Murley, the program is no good without the codes which are in your head. Okay, so we can make a deal. Ah! You are recording this! Well, we can talk outside. I don't need to talk to you. If you've been working for Game Corp, you are the guilty one. You stole it! No one stole it. I think I came after you of my own accord. I'm a puppet, like you. If I could get out, I would, but I can't. But why me? He corrupts whoever he likes. If not you, it'll be me. I've been ordered to see that you have an accident. But why? Because you are the living proof. Let's suppose for a moment that you are innocent. Then who is guilty? Percy himself. So you see, I have no choice. You bastard. You gutless bastard. If you don't cooperate, Murley, it's not only you will suffer. I've seen what these guys do. Your woman, your child. Accidents. My child? What do you mean? What do you want? Fuck you! Fuck you, Theo!
I think you understand. Pure. There is a way out. What? This gives you five shots. I can give you a whole list of people who want him dead. I'll even make sure the police get a copy. I don't think I... No, maybe you can't. He uses your woman. He threatens you and everything you have. Do come in. You know you're making a terrible mistake. <sighs> now here we are. You can choose. All the world's a stage. But you don't have to follow the script. Keep your hands up where I can see you. You know, of course, that the place is riddled with cameras. You do know that, don't you? Just shut up. If you kill, they'll throw you to the dogs. It's you or me. Oh, no. Both of us. Now, do put that thing down. And don't. Uh. 
Would you mind? What for? To show you how I caught on to their little game. Oh, I, I just stumbled on it. I didn't mean to pry. I was genuinely looking for the number of the security company because I'd lost my pass. I took down her address. I called her and said I was a director and was calling her for an audition. And the stupid girl came for the part. Dr. Whittock, I believe we've met before. Remember? At my country house. Shit. <laughs> Look, I'm an actress. It was a job. Ah. Well, being a professional actress is one thing. Impersonating a real doctor, quite another. Sit down. Now, tell me everything. I want it for once to be mistaken. I wanted to wake up and find that I was in the wrong game, the wrong dream. But no. No. I mean, you, you hear what I'm trying to say here, Merlin? This was my life. Well, a glimpse, a promise, a moment. And now, now it's all gone. Put that thing down. I never thought, by the way, for one moment that you would ever sell our program, your program, to Game Corp. Each time, the scene is different. Random choices. Game theory. You see? Yeah. Well, you wrote the program. Anything can happen. You made it. That's your line. Why? Of course. You know, for a genius programmer, you really are pretty stupid. They made you believe that I asked her for things. That shows you how good your program is. You believed it yourself. She never came to you. No, of course not. Oh, man. Pull yourself together, man, for God's sake. Look, they selected you. An illegal immigrant, boffin, nervous, sensitive. Get all mixed up now. I mean, don't mistake the game for reality. Reality for the game. All right? Now listen, you just go back. Phone down, darling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sure they'll be able to trace the call. I know I've always said that I'm not very good at play acting. Don't worry. 
You're not in any danger. At least, not from us two. Please, sit down. Sit down. I'll pour you a drink. Uh, here's to the infinite game. I'm sure you'll drink to that, won't you, Ravi? Mm. Mm. Of course, your plans have received a temporary setback. Mm? Because here I am, alive. I don't know what you're talking about, darling. No. And what, what is Murli doing here? Please, darling, save it. Here, let me show you your finest performance. Watch. That wasn't the cruelest blow. I knew there was no baby. All that role playing. Running away from the horror was, well, what was it? It was, well, it was well done, I suppose, but bastard. I'm still like an idiot. wished for everything. Son of a bitch! Look. You should have stopped her. Yes, perhaps you're right. Give me, sir. This is my game. Choice, remember? I have this choice.
Grove. Darling. Don't darling me. Darling, we can come to some arrangement. The name is Rapina. <laughs> So what made you change your mind? Well, how could I possibly refuse? They offered me a three-picture deal. <laughs>